Hello everyone, this is Austin from Robless. Prepping my juice for the morning. That's not good. What's up, VB Suave? Jim, hello again. Glad to see you in here. Gabe, what's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing amazing. Much better than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I was going through some some emotional detox, I think. Say when, Gwen, what's up? Sai chick. Yeah, so I'm just prepping my juice for the morning. Gonna have apple, cucumber, bok choy, cilantro, and beet. Oh, and calamansi. I might I might add something else. I don't know. I'm gonna add the beet the beet greens as well. Why not? I got a big beat here. Don't drop the beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to work in a, like a juice bar and we'd always make beat puns. Oh, it was, it was, it was great. It was great. The managers there were so punny. Ooh, this is a beautiful beat. Look at that. Oh, you can't really tell the lighting. I love beets. I love beets so much. Amazing for the liver. I got liver problems. I know that. I'm gonna work on those. Dead fly. What's up? Look at how beautiful. I never even noticed the sacred geometry in a beet. It's wonderful. Pineapple beet is great. I actually did that one yesterday. Well, it was pineapple, pineapple, cucumber, beet, um, cilantro, bok choy. I think that's what it was. It was really good. Pick and choose. What's up? Sea moss. Uh, I love sea moss. Amazing herb. I actually take um, bladder whack, which is a type of sea moss. It's good for uh, iodine, good for a lot of other stuff too. Chopping up my beet. This is a big beet. <laughs> Even though I have the wide shoot juicer, it's really good to Chop everything up into small pieces just to make it easier on the juicer. You don't want to break your juicer. Oh my god, I've had that happen. Not fun. But luckily it was under warranty with my uh, Solo Star 4 back home. Carrots with pineapple? I haven't tried that one. Haven't tried that. That sounds pretty good though. Okay, I think I got everything prepped. Timmy, what's up? Let me cut, cut up these calamansi here. One of the most sour, astringent fruits in the world, calamansi. It's like a lime, but better. It's like a key lime, but better. Broke my juicer a month ago, only just got a new one. It's been tough. Yeah, I feel it. That's why you gotta invest, like it's worth it. Invest in a really good juicer. Invest in a Kuvings C7000. Invest in a Green Star Elite. Like, you'll be good. And those come with 10 year warranties. Like, my Solo Star 4 it came with a 10, star, 10 year warranty. Shameless, that's a good show. I used to watch that too. 
Okay, I think that's good. We'll see. I'm gonna throw these apples in. I think one of these is pretty, it's kind of mushy, so I'm gonna do the mushy one first. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna make some jewelry with my friend. That sounds fun. All right, let me show you guys how easy the apple juice. Pop this in here, and then you just give this a press. Look at that. Come on, you can do it. There it goes. Look at how easy. Throw on my cucumber. What's up, Ezel? How you doing? See, the apple comes out a bit foamy sometimes, but that's okay. I'm gonna strain it with this uh, fine mesh strainer. So I usually do like a double strain because I don't have my uh, my cheesecloth right now or my nut milk bag, whatever you call it. Yeah. So here I got bok choy, cilantro. And beet green, beet, beet tops. I like to put the greens in first because they're, uh, you know, they're they're harder to go through. So then I can use all the harder produce to push it through. Doing excellent, Ezel. Thank you. Healthy healing colors. Oh, I love that. I'm making some healthy healing colors right now. Yeah, I actually just got back from the beach. I was doing some meditation, some yoga, and some cycling. It's an amazing way to start the day. I love cilantro. I love cilantro so much. Remember, fruits for energy, herbs for healing. So if you don't need much energy, I would recommend going on the herbs and vegetables. Because everybody needs healing. Everybody. But let me tell you, it is not fun. It is not fun. <laughs> the healing journey, you really want energy. Like for me, I love staying active. Gotta have energy. So you gotta find a balance that works for you if you're juice fasting. Definitely gotta find a balance. Pass these apples in. Yesterday I went a bit heavy on the on the vegetable juices and not much on the on the fruit. I was like resting all day. I was like Oh man, it was like emotions were coming up. But you know what? I think it was good. I had my first solid poop this morning after 7 days. So I think yesterday was, you know, I had some good stuff come out. What was your song of the year? Oh gosh, I don't even know. I really like rap. Um, I, I can't even, I can't even. It's too many. Throw some beat in here. Homegrown, I juiced ahead of it and threw up. Wait, what? Juiced ahead of what? Good cilantro. Oh yeah, that's that's probably your parasites. Cilantro is very powerful anti-parasitic. So the parasites are like, no, I don't like cilantro. 
There's a lot of beet. It's gonna be colorful. Taste the rainbow, y'all, every day. Taste the rainbow. This is gonna be a nice juice. Oh yeah. My spoon here kind of mix this around. Mmm, I love beet. Love beet so much. Your song called Caffeine? <laughs> You're not Nicki Minaj, right? That'd be pretty crazy if Nicki Minaj was w watching my live. I'm in a Facebook group whose single purpose is hating Solange. <laughs> there would be a Facebook group like that. That's funny. Oh, I got some stuff stuck in here. I'm gonna move that around. There we go. Get that moving. Oh yeah, this is a nice juice. Izzy Bops. Alright, I feel it. Is it a banger though? Like, I'm not gonna check it out unless it's a banger. Alright, I'm gonna clean my juicer out real quick. It doesn't take long at all. And then I'll sit with you guys, answer some questions. Most disgusting thing you have ever eaten or drunk? Um, hmm. Probably milk. <laughs> Cow milk. That's pretty gross, man. Like, not in taste, just like when you think about what it is. Like, after you're aware of it, it's like, ugh. But anything like, there's so much stuff, man. I was a glutton. I weighed 230 pounds. You know, that's 100 kilos. Box mac and cheese. Okay, here's something. I would take uh, a frozen pizza. You know, the standard tombstone frozen pizza. Uh, I would bake that, par bake it a little bit. And then I'd put a box of mac and cheese on top. I'd put a pound of ground beef, a pound of bacon, and like five different cheeses on top with hot sauce. That's pretty disgusting, right? Like, sure, it tastes good, but man, that's disgusting. I was a, I was a pig. You know what I mean? Favorite strength exercises? Um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> strength exercise. Dang, that beat is so pink. Caffeine is a banger. Oh, dead fly, listen to your song. That's what's up. Is it on SoundCloud or Spotify or Daphiff? Daphiff.com world premiere. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. Send me the link. Uh, PM me. PM me the link. I'll check it. Oh God, don't roll away on me. Almost finished here. Stop rolling away. Jeez. Yeah, today I, I just went light on the workout. I did, uh, yesterday I did like tons of push-ups. 
So today I'm doing just some yoga, some meditation, and some cycling. And a lot of deep breathing meditation. Syrian roux seeds are pretty fell. I've I've heard of those. What what do they taste like? Yeah, ground beef is pretty yeah. Definitely. For me, I think wheat was the hardest thing to eliminate from my diet. Wheat. Super addicting. There's opioid-like compounds in, in wheat that keep you addicted. Of course, meat was a big one, but I think wheat is like one of the most unhealthy things in the world. Wheat and dairy. Use my special brush here. I love this thing. Spotify, SoundCloud. Oh, cool. All right, you must be big. You doing well for yourself, Ezel? Love to support the homies. This is a great tool that comes with the Kuvings. C7000, you guys. First, it doesn't get all the, all the spots, especially on the inside. But you just take your little brush here, give it a little scrub scrub. Astros, what's up? Sorry, one second, I'm almost done. Strain this. Let's see. Like this. Tastes bitter like alkaloids. I'm not sure what alkaloids taste like. And yeah, wheat was the hardest thing to give up. Bread is so addictive. Absolutely, man. Beautiful beet. God, I love beet. You guys ever make pure beet juice? I kind of want to try it. I like pure carrot juice. Or parsnips. I was going to try parsnip juice. Yes, Astros. Welcome. Okay, there's not much to strain here. This is looking good. Oh yeah. So maybe I didn't need to do that. You know, just in case. Oh, I almost forgot my calamansi. different strainers here <laughs> yeah definitely laxative but you know like the taste how's the taste beets are so good for the liver too and all those anthocyanins it's got good stuff in the colors the pigments the purple pigments the pretty purple pigments, the Peter Parker's pretty purple pigments. That's a good one. Try saying that 10 times fast. Peter, Peter Piper's purple pig, deep purple pigments. Peter Piper's pink, pink purple pigments. I don't know. Okay. Let's give this a pour. 
Oh my god, that color. Quick wipe down here. Like to keep my station nice and clear. Clean house, clean mind. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna sit down with you guys, answer some questions. Sorry for the wait. Give us a shot here. Actually, I'll grab my chair. I can sit outside. Do you like Spider-Man? Eh, it's all right. Lalit. Lalit Madhav Das. That is a beautiful name. Gabe, I have read the Bhagavad Gita. It's a life-changing book. Why do you assume I haven't read it? That was like one of the first spiritual spirituality books I've read in the Vedas. I get my little setup here so we can sit outside. <clears throat> Raw food is healthy but need hard work to look the strongness of monkeys. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. Monkeys don't seem that uh, that strong to me, though. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take much to like climb a coconut tree or whatever. One of my friends, Daniela, she can climb a coconut tree. She's skinnier than me. Wow, that juice turned out really good. Oh my god. I like that better. Instead of just throwing all my greens and vegetables in one juice in the day, I've been kind of uh, spacing it out. So I'd have like a fruit juice with a little bit of greens, and then a fruit juice with a little bit of greens, fruit juice with a little bit of greens. So this is like 70% fruit, and then like 30% vegetable. And I find that's like a, a really good balance for me. So yeah, cilantro, beet, Calamansi, cucumber, apple, bok choy. I don't really notice the beet greens. I don't know. Lilith, I like your lifestyle. Oh, thank you. A liter of orange juice for breakfast every day? Yes, absolutely. I used to do the same. Orange juice is an amazing cleanser for the lymphatic system and the it, it's great at pulling mucus from the head. I need to turn my brightness up. Don't underestimate monkeys. Yeah, absolutely. Especially orangutans. They know what's up. Orangutans eat like a hundred different types of fruits in a year. A hundred different types. That is goals. Yeah, the oranges here in Vietnam are absolutely incredible. Um, they have so many different varieties as well, and the mandarins, and the clementines, and the uh, pomelo. I gotta try pomelo juice, actually. I mean, I have tried it, but I gotta make it myself. Oh yeah, if you guys check my story, I actually posted two years ago today, I was in Sumatra and I saw my first orangutan, like in real life, it was, it was so amazing. There's less than 100,000 left in the world due to the palm oil industry. So please, if you buy like processed foods, you know, that's fine, whatever, but please check the label See if it has palm oil in it. I know they use it a lot in like peanut butter, nut butters, stuff like that. Yeah. 
How do you feel about Flavor of Light's bodybuilding history? Um, I, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Like he was, he was, he was really big in the past, like really swollen. He's 55 to 58 kg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. <laughs> How'd you know that? I think I mentioned it like in a, in a previous live or something. Yeah, I tried to post the last live on YouTube, but it didn't save to my phone for some reason. Sometimes Instagram be like that. Um, how do I feel about his bodybuilding? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's into it anymore. Hmm. This is a really good balance. You think it would be difficult to travel like you have with a guitar? I don't think so. I have I have a friend that does that. Um, <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> who cares, man? Um. Yeah, you'd have to check it though when you when you travel. Like my favorite thing is I only do like carry on bags, so I only bring like a backpack. And that's it. Like, I don't need to check any any bags or have to worry about waiting after the flight to get my bags. It's just grab my backpack and go. Like, it's so much fun. But you just have to... Uh... Yeah, Tyler, I'm six foot. It's possible to try a year living in orange juice? Uh, that sounds terrible, to be honest. <laughs> why would you? Why would you limit yourself like that? I guess you could, like, if you really wanted to, but it's all about the rainbow. You know, we're, we're beings of light. We're not just orange. You know, we're purples and we're blues and we're yellows and we're reds. We're greens. We're greens, you guys. The heart. We need to heal the heart and green juice. Uh, Stella, this is uh, beet, apple. It's mostly apple. A uh, little cilantro, a little bok choy, a cucumber and uh, calamansi lime. Hilton Hotima. Yeah, I haven't, I actually have that book, I think, but I haven't read it yet. Orange juice is dehydrating. What? What? You're tripping. What are you talking about? Okay, maybe if you're talking about, um, uh, what's it called? The seedless, you know, the seedless oranges? I don't know. Is there a juice specifically for lymph? Um, yeah. So, like, apple, grape, uh, I believe watermelon, and citrus are very good at moving, moving the lymph, excuse me. <laughs> Ezel, <laughs> didn't you just say you have orange juice every morning, a liter of orange juice every morning, and then you do the apple juice at night? That's what's up. That's what's up. Though. I'm eating a banana right now. Yeah. Honestly, I was being like craving bananas out of all the things like durian... <laughs> Dragon fruit. I'm like, I want to eat a banana. It's so weird. Bananas here are, oh my god, the bananas are so incredible. I didn't even like bananas before I moved to the tropics. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, my favorite fruits. Okay, in no particular order, because I don't like, I like to eat a variety of fruits. I think it's very important. I don't, I don't like to say this fruit is better than that fruit. But in no particular order, Champadac, I mean Champa Jack, actually, which is a Champadac jackfruit hybrid. Absolutely incredible. One of the sweetest fruits. I think the sweetest fruit in the world. Um, Dabai. Dabai is one of the most complex flavored fruits. Like, it's crazy. It tastes like herbs and mashed potatoes and salt and butter and, like, amazing things. 
and um, Rambutan, Dragon Fruit, Papaya, mm, Tarap, Tarap as well, or Morong, it's also called Morong. Orange juice is very sweet. I guess some varieties of oranges are sweet, but it's not very sweet. Maybe the maybe you're thinking like navel oranges? I don't know. Requires water to metabolize the sugar. Hmm. I never thought of that before. That could be. Yeah, rambutan's like one of my favorites. Expensive there? Shouldn't be expensive. Oh, is it imported? Yeah, don't eat imported fruits. Don't eat imported fruits. Only eat local fruits. I mean, I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say don't eat imported fruits, but like, yeah, navel oranges suck, man. Those aren't real oranges. Yeah, don't eat imported rambutans. That's not even worth it. Oh. Do those even taste like anything? That's awesome, Ezel. All right, Gabe, have a good day, brother. Take it easy. Yeah, the seeded fruits. The seeded fruits, you guys. It's so important to get seeded fruits. It's always worth it. Please support your seeded fruit industries, you guys. Dispeller of Darkness, what's up, brother? I got some darkness right here. <laughs> beet, apple, cilantro, bok choy. Beet, apple, cilantro, bok choy, cucumber, calamansi. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I did. Why not? Uh, I'm sorry, I I forgot what I was talking about. What? What? Why not? What? Peace, brother. Sorry, Erica. I, I missed your. Uh, I missed what we were talking about there. Why not? Such a great balance for a juice. I used like four apples, it was perfect. Elliot, imported fruits? Oh yeah, yeah, Because the quality's not gonna be there. Um, you're paying for someone to, to fly it. You know, it wastes a lot of resources. It's just not gonna be good quality. You know, you wanna get the highest quality fruits possible. So you wanna eat whatever's available as close to you to where you live as possible so if in, if you're living in like california for example you can get great local fruits or you can get fruits from mexico which is close by um, i'm from washington state you know we're the home of the apples we're very famous for apples so i eat a lot of apples have a lot of apple juice get oranges from california or florida you know florida grows a lot of produce but your microbiome your gut microbiome thrives best when you're eating local foods. About to go hit some PRs at the gym. Let's go, Elliot, let's go. Save that money for a trip to the tropics. Exactly, Erica, exactly. And let me tell you, I've eaten, you know, frozen durian. I've, I've had this stuff. Some of the fruit travels decent, like passion fruit, for example. Um, Dragon fruit would be good. Uh, sometimes, sometimes jackfruit. Don't eat pineapple. Don't eat imported pineapple. You can, you can juice it. Um, you know that's it's kind of kind of good, but pineapple does not ripen. Papaya. Don't eat papaya unless unless you can find it like from Hawaii. Uh, yeah, it's just imported fruits. You're just not gonna get the quality. 
you want to focus on quality not not like some idea like okay i have to eat tropical fruits only like if you want to eat tropical fruits only go to the tropics that's, that's why i did it and let me tell you nothing compares like the imported durian the imported rambutan it's like you know it's like a two out of ten and you get here it's like a nine it's like an eight or nine you know thank you Stella thank you guys for the hearts RMM what's up yeah it's absolutely worth it let's go to the tropics like I got nothing against like if you want to try it if you've never tried durian you know that's one thing you can order from uh, Lindsay year of the durian she like preserves it in a way like flash freezes the durian right when it's at peak ripeness what is that sound good god it's like a truck pulling out over there if you look at year of the durian uh, durian writer on uh, on Instagram durian writer not writer durian writer and she sells like a box of like the best durians in the world from like Malaysia she had a box from Philippines from Borneo and I think she's doing a Thai variety box soon and it's a little expensive but if you're not able to go to the tropics this is worth it buy her box like it is like I've had some of the varieties that she's having in this box and they're like the top quality yeah not durian rider <laughs> Oh, man. This is so good. Apple and beet are like, it's one of my favorite combos. All right, Stella, have a good day at work. Love you too. Durian writer. Like when you write something down, writer. Let's see, about 40 minutes in. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. Colo Estrada, why celibate? Um, haven't found the right, you know, person yet. I don't believe in masturbation. I think it's, uh, detrimental, especially to one's spiritual health, as well as physical health, as well as mental health. We've been so conditioned by these, uh, by the media. It's, everything's like sex always in your face. It's like sex sells, right? They're, they're hitting you in the root chakra. They're keeping you in that lower lower vibration. They want you to, they use sex to sell things and um, keep you in fear. Um, it just makes you easy to control when you're, when you're constantly using your energy and you're stuck in those lower chakras. And when you, when you go like, you know, when you don't do this, when you do no fap, for example, and you meditate and you, Focus the energy on moving up your spine. It's beautiful things happen. You know, people never reach the heart even. People don't reach the heart chakra because they're so stuck in the root. You look at what is the root chakra? What does it represent? Fear, sex, money evil <laughs> the root of all evil you know what I mean Mary Lou how you doing all right only three viewers let me know if you guys have any questions before I hop off once again apple beet lime bok choy cilantro cucumber All right, Colo. Hope that uh, satisfied your uh, your question. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's gonna do it for me today. See y'all in the next one. Peace and love. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Eat raw. Stay blissful. Bye bye.